Assalamu alaikum. May the peace and blessing of Allah be upon you. So let's take this topic and distinguish between Jesus and God. So if I were to ask a Christian, when Jesus went to the garden and he prayed, to whom did he pray? Did he pray to himself? Another question. When Jesus was resurrected, according to the Christian belief, where is he now? He's sitting on the right hand of God. If so, how could he be God if he's sitting on the right hand of the side of God? And if God is able to do anything, could he become a man and then have a son? So logically speaking, the answer to these questions are no because the concept of God becoming man contradicts the basic meaning of the term God. Now people, they commonly say that God is able to do all things and whatever he, he wants to do, God can do. Now in the Bible, Christians, it is said through God, all things are possible. We can find that in Matthew 19, 26, Mark 10, 27, and Mark 14, 36. The Quran also states that indeed Allah or God is able to do all things. The Quran chapter 2, verse 20. So we see that the Quran and the Bible carry similar meanings. All the major religious texts contain general expressions regarding the fundamental and the basic concept of God omnipotence. God is greater than all things, and through him, all things, each and everything is possible. Now, if this general concept is to be translated into practical terms, one has to first identify and understand the basic attributes of God. Now, most societies, they perceive God as an eternal being without a beginning or an end. If on the basis that God is able to do all things and it were asked whether God could die, hmm, what would be the answer? Think about that. Since dying is a part of all things, then can it be said if he wants to? Now, if he wants to. Of course, this cannot be said. So there is a problem that lies here. God is defined as an ever-living being without end, and dying means coming to an end. Now, consequently, to ask if God can die is actually a nonsensical question. It is self-contradictory, and similarly, to ask whether God can be born is also very, very, very absurd because God has already been defined as eternal, having no beginning or no end. Being born means having a beginning, coming into an existence after not existing at all. In this same vein, atheist philosophers enjoy asking, can God create a stone too heavy for him to lift. Now, if the theist says yes, it means God can create something greater than himself. And if he says no, then it means that God is unable to do all things. Therefore, the term all things and the phrase God is able to do all things excludes the absurdities. It cannot include things that contradict his divine attributes. Things that would make God seem like less than God, like forgetting, sleeping, repenting, growing, eating, etc., etc. Instead, it includes only all things that are consistent with him being God. This is what the statement means. God is able to do all things. Now, it cannot be understood in the absolute sense. It must be qualified. The claim that God became man is also an absurdity. 
It is not befitting of God to take on such human characteristics because it means that the creator has become what? The creator has become his creation. That's absurd. However, the creation is a product of the creative act of the creator. Now, if the creator became his creation, it would theoretically mean that the creator created himself, which is another obvious absurdity. To be created, he would first have to not exist. And if he did not exist, then how could he then create? Furthermore, if he were created, then it would mean that he had a beginning, which also contradicts God being eternal. So by definition, creation is in need of a creator. For created beings to exist, they must have had a creator to bring them into existence. This is logical. God cannot need a creator because God is the creator. Thus, there, are, there is an obvious contradiction in terms. The claim that God became his creation implies that he would need a creator, which is ludicrous in concept. This contradicts the fundamental concept of God being uncreated, needing no creator, and being the almighty creator.